The Son of Ombele by Bill Marshall. What is the story about? Sumako, a chief fisherman, has four children, three boys namely Benko, Zeke, Atu, and a daughter called Duela. In line with African custom and tradition, Sumako trains his sons to take up his fishing occupation, both for subsistence and economic purposes. Joshua, a wanderer, appears in Sumako's family and engages him in a conversation. Joshua's quest is to find out what the third end is and where it can be located. While in the family, he falls in love with Dwella, the daughter of Sumako, and she reciprocates the love Joshua has for her. This is simply because she is seen by her neighbors to be possessed with unclean spirit, that is, Sunsunboni. As a result of the brawl between Benko and Joshua, Sumaku arranges a duel for them. Joshua is armed with a gun while Benko chooses a knife. At the seaside, where the fight is to take place, Joshua proves his worth by shooting himself instead of fighting his opponent, Benko. Probably Joshua's love for Dweller might have caused him not to engage in a fight with his would-be brother-in-law. So Joshua has killed himself, and the audience find the hysterical and the disappointed lover, Dweller, running towards the seaside, crying and calling Joshua's name repeatedly, as echoed in Joshua, Joshua, to signify the pain of the loss of a dear one. Themes. Theme 1. Love. Love is a dominant theme in the play. Sumako shows love for his household. This is manifest in the fact that he takes pleasure in teaching his sons his profession and is always worried whenever they do not appear on the expected time. His fear is that they may perish at sea. In a similar way, he shows love and care for the demented wife. This is seen in the response given when called by the wife on the sick bird. Joshua also expressed love for Dweller. This move is reciprocated by Dweller. Theme number two, adventure. The lives of the fisher folk are full of adventures. For the sake of livelihood and survival, the family of Summer could go for fishing in the sea amidst turbulent weather and fear of losing the life. Similarly, Joshua is a wanderer because he seeks to find a third end, and in the end he loses his life without achieving his goal. Theme number three, hospitality. In the place, Maku welcomed Joshua, the stranger, to his house and accept him to be part of his household, and as part of culture, gave him water to drink. He further teaches and involves him in his fishing business. Theme number four, appreciation. Dweller shows a sense of appreciation to Joshua when he praises the latter as seen in this I quote. He thinks I am pretty. No one has ever told me that before. They all avoid me. No one sees I am pretty. Joshua does. He told me so, and that is a lot to live for. Who knows, I might even have him." Unquote. Next theme, death and lamentation. In the play, Zeke returns from his trip to his object of love and is seen in a sorrowful mood. She complains to his sister Dweller that his lover has passed on. I quote, no, she is dead. My woman is gone, gone dead, unquote, and that all the villagers are weeping. According to Zeke, they will soon put her in the ground. The audience see him play and sing a dirge for the diseased. There is also a hint about the death of Joshua's mother, Ambele. Next theme, industry. In the place, Mako and his family are seen as hard working. We see how the old man is industrious, thus mending the fishing net when preparing for fishing. 
we can see his children following his footsteps. So Marco is a retired fisherman, but does not sit idle. He mends the net and instructs his children anytime they go to or return from fishing. I could, I do not go to sea anymore. Too old, understand? My sons do. They are at sea this very moment. I expect them any moment from now. The last theme is superstition. The family of Duella believes that she carries a demon and that the first man to make a woman of her would find destruction. Hence, it is a superstitious society holding on to certain beliefs based on their culture and tradition. Now let's look at the setting of the play. The play is set in two major places. These are the home of Sumako and the seaside. Sumako's home is an interesting one, where all his children are present with Joshua being the new member. The home is hospitable to Joshua and Sumako's wife, who is sick. Her children take instruction solely from their father. Form and structure of the play. The son of Ambele is a tragedy in which the principal figure Joshua suffers destruction through his own flaws. The play is in three acts. The first act introduces us to the household of Smako and her children with their sick mother. Joshua becomes a new member of this family. Smako is awaiting the arrival of his children from fishing. The act two is about the love affair between Joshua and Dweller. At the same time, Joshua is beginning to show the sons of Sumaku. The third act looks at the duel between Benko and Joshua, which eventually leads to the latter shooting himself. Characters Sumaku. Sumaku is one of the main characters in the play. He is introduced as a fisherman and father of four children, namely Benko, Ziki, Atu, and Dwella. His wife, who is bedridden, he welcomes strangers to his home. He exercises fatherly authority over his children, and even though he is old and a bit starchy in his movement, he looks rather strong for his age. He often engages himself in mending the fishing net used by his children. He is often absorbed in his occupation with a pipe in his mouth. Benko Benko is the first son of Sumaku. He is presented as a character that is quick-tempered, irritable and aggressive in both utterances and actions. He does not mean words and calls a spade a spade, and often indulges in the use of language which is abusive. He appears to have no regard for his interlocutors and often has to be cautioned by his father to observe decorum. Why don't you cool off? Benko, what is eating you? He uses words such as pigs for the women who have come to buy fish from their home. He also tells the father, I quote, We are not mere fools. We are not going to let people like Sumaku think for us, unquote. Benko is also hostile throughout the play towards Joshua, and he esteems him no less than an enemy. Ziki Ziki is the second son of Sumako. He is of very calm and shows brother love towards Dwala. He has a lover from the village near them, who he visits and reports about to his sister, Dwala. He is a lover of music and is often seen playing his jitter. He loves to sing along. He loses his lover and in the course of the play sings a dirge in remembrance of his deceased lover. He wins the sympathy of the audience as a result of the loss of his lover. Atu Atu is the third son of Sumaku and runs around for the family. Very often he is drunk and indulges in funny comments. Duela Duela is the last born and the only daughter to Sumaku. She is about 20 years and has a mature body which she carries with the unaffected grace and defiance. She is believed to be possessed by an evil spirit and should be avoided by men. She reciprocates the love that Joshua shows towards her. 
Joshua remarked that Dwella is a pleasant name and pleasant woman. In the play, her love for Joshua causes her to be her protector against all odds from her brothers, especially Benko. Her family believed that the first man to make a woman of her would find destruction. Everybody knows that, so she remains single and looks after the family, while the mother is sick in bed. Duella considers herself a freed person as a result of her relationship with Joshua. She tells the father, I could. Yes, father, Joshua made me a woman, and what is more, he is going to live every minute of his life maybe to see his child born. And maybe another, and another, and another, and, and yet another, unquote. In the play, she is referred to as a flower bird. Joshua. Joshua is the son of Ambele. His mother was a very strong and revengeful woman who raised an empire from little rooms and made men slave for her. Joshua, with the mother dead, is now a wanderer who visits Marcus' family and wishes to join them in their fashion career. He falls in love with Sumaku's only daughter, Dweller, and miss hostility from the eldest brother, Benko. In the final part of the play, a duel results in Joshua shooting himself dead. Peasant Women In the play, the peasant women are like the classical chorus who represent the views of the society and are made up of a group of dancers and singers.